Just like everything that gets smashed with the nerf hammer in Destiny 2, the community abandons it quicker than a quick thing from Quickland. And despite Witherhorde boring everyone to death, it just doesn't hold a candle to this forgotten exotic and this hunter build combo will mix up your DPS meta for the rest of the season. This is going under the radar and will get you over 1.6 million damage with very little effort in any damage phase, putting you at the top of the DPS charts. By now you've probably come one with the weakened clear mod this season, granting a 15% debuff to targets for about 20 seconds when hit by a grenade launcher. Witherhorde is the go right now, but it's time to restart the riot and cause some anarchy. Anarchy was insanely strong until it took a 30% damage hit at the start of the Witch Queen, but its perks still offer huge damage potential, especially as the damage over time effect from the arc traps will constantly reproc weakened clear, auto reloading your weapons in the process. Requiring only 2 projectiles on a target to offer its maximum tick damage lasting for about 12 seconds, it'll still do over 200,000 damage in that time, at which point you can pop Anarchy again. However, Anarchy's max damage paired with the still incredibly powerful Gathering Storm can and will electric your enemies back to the grid, essentially turning them into a walking electric pylon, adding a serious melt factor to enemies, champions and bosses alike no matter the level of content. This arc 3.0 super is magnificent for both high burst damage and damage over time, and paired with anarchy it offers excellent versatility in fire teams or for solo players. Plus this is all still insanely easy to set up and you can then increase gathering storms damage even more by using the exotic star eater scales with its 4 times stack of feast of light. That's the easy part to be honest, but before you even get to frying the boss with your super, you want to fully charge it up and max out Anarchy's damage potential. It'll automatically take advantage of weakened clear's 15% damage boost and then along with the font of might activated by either elemental armaments or melee wellmaker, you'll get that further stacking 25% on top and you can even add in the elemental charge with the 20% boost from high energy fire to overcharge the max damage output. Using the combination blow and lethal current combo will usually be the easiest way to get any element or well, and even solo operative or monochromatic maestro won't go amiss either. All you need to do once you've blown your load with the Anarchy and Gathering Storm combo is swap to either your favourite slug shotgun or fusion rifle, preferably with Vorpal or even Chill Clip to ramp up the damage even further. Doing so will easily get you over 1.6 million damage on the boss without even thinking about it, and that's before you add in the extra time to cause further damage you'll get in any DPS phase. This forgotten arc build may roll back the years, however this newfangled god roll fusion rifle is perfect for any boss melting build, find out why and which perks you should be chasing in this next video.